How's it going? Today I want to share with you one of the rarest forms of boa that I have in my collection and it's known as the Honduran Fire Belly Boa. I want to go over some of the unique physical and behavioral characteristics that define this form, give a little bit of background of the history of this type of boa, and then of course I want to show you some examples of some of the animals that I have in my collection. I'm Brian from Brian Boas. I'm a breeder of boa constrictors. And if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel for more videos on all aspects of keeping and breeding boas in captivity. The Honduran Firebelly Boa line goes back about 25 years or so. There was an import of a group of boas from the island of Roatan, which is north of Honduras, not that far from the Hog Islands. It was imported by Tom Crutchfeld and these animals were characterized by this nice orangish belly color. There was a group of them that was acquired by a Florida reptile breeder named Dennis Sargent and he selectively bred them for this color and thus was born the Honduran Fire Belly Boa uh, line. I've also heard from some people that these are actually mainland Honduran boas, that they're not from the island of Roatan. And if we look at their appearance, they do look quite similar to mainland Honduran boas. They are more like that than they look like a Hog Island boa. And of course, the island of Roatan is closer to the Hog Islands than to mainland Honduras. So I don't know for sure whether or not these are true island boas or if they are just very brightly colored mainland Honduran boas. If you have any more information on this, I would really appreciate it if you would comment below. Now I want to show you a few examples of the Honduran fire belly boa. So this is my adult female. She's actually one of my more spirited boas, so hopefully I'm not going to lose any blood uh, right now. But what you can see is that characterizes this form is the beautiful orangish belly color. And this girl is really an exceptional example of the line of boa. You can see the orangish color also extends to the sides. She's got these beautiful pinkish orangish sides. You can also see that the dorsal surface is this nice, nice olive brownish color. And looking at her tail, they have these beautiful maroonish tail saddles. Okay, so overall, the appearance is pretty similar to the mainland Honduran, except much, much more colorful. You know, another defining characteristic are their eyes. She's got these beautiful, prominent, orangish eyes. So one of the most striking looking eyes of any snake that I've seen. Here we have an adult male Honduran firebelly boa. So this guy doesn't have quite the same level of color as the female I just showed you. What he does have is he has got a patternless body so you can see this large area of striping where there's no saddles so this is a characteristic of many Honduran fire belly boas and the other characteristic I wanted to show you is they have this very short head and this guy has a really short head you can see how short that snout is and his head is almost frog-like in appearance and so this guy is an adult you can see he's not that big maybe about four and a half foot or so and this form of boa typically gets somewhere between around four and six feet. So it's a relatively small form of boa. So this is a two-year-old holdback male. And he's one of my favorite holdbacks I've ever produced of any boa. And you can see his, he's got the beautiful orangish belly. It actually develops over time. It gets more intense typically once they approach adulthood. This guy also has this beautiful, partially patternless uh, body coloration. You can see there's some striping towards his neck. He's got you know, seven or eight saddles, and then he's got this striping towards his tail. So this is another whole back. This is a two-year-old female. And she's not patternless, but she has the, you know, the more typical saddle coloration. But hopefully you can see the beauty of her eyes. Let me try to zoom in here. So these animals have these beautiful 
reddish orange eyes. If I can get this in focus. Just absolutely striking to look at. One of the things we need to bear in mind when breeding hunter and fire-bellied boas is that the original population was relatively small. We're talking about something like four to six founder animals, from what I understand, that all of the animals in captivity now are uh, descended from. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear likely that there's going to be any exports of related animals anytime soon that we could use to increase the numbers of these animals in captivity. So therefore, it's really important that we balance keeping this locality pure while trying to avoid the long-term consequences of inbreeding. And these, this is an issue that faces a lot of different locality boa breeding projects. So I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. Please, if you have any opinions on this, please comment below. So that's the hunter and fire belly boa. Hope this was somewhat helpful for, and informative for you. I will be happy to answer questions as always. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel. Thanks for your attention and happy boas.